is good. Oh, hallelujah. Anybody here proven God yet? I've proved him through the good times. I've proved him through the bad times. I've proved him through the lean times. I've, 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 I've just, when there's so much on the plate, I couldn't eat it. I've, I've seen him work. He gave it to me. Hallelujah. I proved him when I didn't have two dimes to rub together. And I proved him when I even got up to $5. And he's still the same God. I'm 81 years old. And if God has kept me for 81 years, then I don't worry about tomorrow. Because if he kept me 81 years, he can keep me two or three more, whatever it is. Amen? God will keep you. So, we, we don't have to prove God. We don't have to go around with a sign on our back telling how great we are. We don't have to brag how good we are. Because we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. And the only goodness in us is Jesus Christ. There's not a good bone in my body if it wasn't for the Lord. There wouldn't be a good word in my mouth if it wasn't for Jesus. Having him, I know because I've been on both sides. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Now if it appears evil, just leave it alone. You haven't lost a thing. Remember Achan, when they went into Jericho and, and the walls fell and all this took place and God said, you take this treasure the devil's been using it all these years. Take it now and put it in the house of God. And don't touch it. Don't take any of it. But Achan, he just looked at it and you know, it was good to do what God said with. But he took it when God said, leave it alone. Friend, if you take it when God said, leave it alone, it's going to explode on you. It's just like a time bomb. Oh, it may look good for a while, but I guarantee you, it'll go off one of these days. If it appears to be evil, leave it alone. Be like Joseph. He walked in there, done his job, doing nothing, and Potiphar's daughter made illicit advances toward him. He got away from her and everything. Finally, he went back, probably had his back turned. He said, I can't sin against my God and against my, my master, Pharaoh. It appeared to be evil. He wanted to leave it alone. You know, sometimes you're placed in the midst of evil and there's nothing you can do about it. But thank God, you don't have to touch it. A skunk might walk by you, but be real still. Don't stir him up. Or you're going to smell like a skunk for a month. And if you fool with sin very much and those things that are evil, it's going to take you a hard time to get rid of it. Reputation of it and everything else. So just stay away. Now, today, we're evil compared to the world. That's what they think. We cause all the hungry in the world. God causes all the wars in the world. God's causing all the murders on Vine Street in Cincinnati. It's all because of us Christians that the world's in the shape it's in. I got news for them. It's all because of us praying Christians that the world is even here. And when they're all gone and there's nobody else to communicate with God and make intercession, God will come back. This world won't be here. Hallelujah. We won't have anybody to pray for you because we'll be gone. I never saw anything like it. You turn across the channels on television and all that stupid stuff they have on our... I saw one just the other day. I was watching something. It had a little woman's head and angels on it or something. And it said, angel from hell. And I thought, you don't know how true that is. You're making fun. But you don't know how true that is. There's angels from hell walking all over this earth. But it's not to be taken that lightly. And so, if it appears evil, leave it alone. For he's the very God of peace. He will sanctify you. Thank God I got sanctified today. I got sanctified yesterday. 
And I'm going to get sanctified tomorrow if I'm still here. I can't face the day without being sanctified of the Lord. I don't know what I'm going to run into, but thank God Paul said I die daily. And one day, I'm going to reach my eternal sanctification when I leave this world and there's no more sin to fight, then I'll be wholly sanctified. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Preacher Charles. They got to <laughs> and I pray, God, your whole spirit, not all of it, not part of it, don't be in the spirit of the devil when you're at work and spirit of God when you come to church. Don't be all friendly and everything in church and hi-hat people when you get outside. You ever see anybody like that? Yes. Be the same. Your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> This old body is supposed to be blameless. People are destroying their bodies today. They're exchanging needles. They're doing everything else the government is, trying to get rid of it. But they're not going to stop it. There's only one answer to the drug problem. It's the same answer there is to the sin problem, and that is Jesus Christ. Amen. That is Jesus Christ. If they take all this money and they're spending on syringes, send evangelists into that territory, set up places for God's <coughs> gospel to be preached, and if there's any hope at all, maybe they'll listen, maybe they won't, but if there's any hope left at all for society, it's in Jesus Christ. Amen. Nowhere else. Nowhere else. I don't know about you, but I love my body. I do. Mm -hmm. I look in the mirror and I say, you're the most beautiful thing I ever saw. <laughs> but I find out that I'm not showing in the mirror. It's me standing behind me. <laughs> Amen. Take care of yourself. Don't kill yourself. Don't commit suicide over a period of 20 years. And that's what a lot of folk are doing. But God gave me this body. God has touched this body. God has healed this body. God has done so much with it that I'll tell you what, I don't really care what I look like to anybody else. God thinks I'm pretty. Hmm? But you think I'm pretty now? Y'all get a song. You think I'm pretty now? You just wait when you meet me on Fifth Avenue and the streets are gold and the walls are jasper and the gates are pearl and I've got a new body and I've got a new life. Hallelujah. I'm going to look like something you ain't never seen. Woo, glory to God. Because you know what? When Jesus comes, if I'm walking down the road, sitting in a chair, preaching the gospel, I'm going to be changed in the twinkling of an eye. But Bert, if I'm over at that old graveyard at Goddard, and you and I are down to the foot of us, where Midge and I have got our plot, and the trump of God sounds, hallelujah, before anything else can take place, we're coming up out of there. Amen. Glory to God. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. 